Good morning, eighth grade, and welcome to my garage as we uh, really start investigation two entitled Where's the Air um, in earnest today. And uh, our goal for the day is to uh, move through all of part one of investigation two. Um, part one is entitled um, Into the Weather um, again. And so I think as we uh, take a look at part number one, um, some things to uh, investigate here and, and consider are what is air exactly? And so I have set up a demonstration for you this morning, a classic demonstration. I believe we did it last year in our chemical and uh, chemical investigate chemical interactions investigation unit to study. And so um, I've got a closed syringe system here. You see, I've taken a uh, um, a paper binder clip and I've clipped a uh, piece of rubber tubing onto the end of my syringe, and I have created a closed system. And so a couple of things to observe as I manipulate the syringe, um, I'd like for you to take a moment and really look at what is going on here. And we can set this up in a variety of circumstances. So the first thing I wanna do is uh, keeping the syringe system closed, I'm gonna show you the graduations on it so that you can um, notice any measurable changes, but I'm simply going to depress the plunger and I can't push it in all the way for some reason, but you'll notice a charismatic change happening um, to the plunger as I depress it. And so if I push it again, you can see something happen. That's kind of neat. And then I wonder what happens if I choose to pull this system. So if I pull the plunger, not quite as interesting. Uh, but you can certainly see a change happening uh, in this. Again, these syringes, uh, the tubing is used, and so maybe this is not as perfect as it once was. But if I repeat the, um, if I repeat the pull, we can uh, see again a very charismatic change that time, uh, much more dramatic than it was the first time. So what's going on? Why is the plunger not staying at the same location each time? Hmm, interesting things to consider. Um, I'm going to come back in just a second and I'm going to have changed the setup. I'm going to add a uh, second syringe onto the end here. I've got another one. Um, now I have an open system and with our second syringe I'll also uh, change the volume of it so it's open um, somewhere between 15 and 20 milliliters of, of gas inside there. I'll do the same on the other one. And so again I've created a closed system. I've got a syringe connected to a piece of tubing that is connected to the other syringe. And so now that you can see both of these, if I choose to push on one, let me see if I can twist these so we can see the graduations again. If I choose to simply, I'm gonna push on the syringe uh, plunger that's on the right, we get a little bit of a change. You see that change show up on the left. Wasn't as immediate as somebody uh, might like, but certainly interesting to note. If I pull, I wonder if we can get a different change. Not really, not, not, not exactly sure what's going on there. Maybe our materials are old and used, but if I push the plunger that's on the left, you see the move on the right. And if I push the plunger that's on the right, you see the move on the left. And so I can, for some reason, manipulate the amount of volume that is available in each one of these syringes. And so that's kind of interesting. Um, it's also interesting to note that if I choose to push on both plungers at the same time, I have some difficulty pushing them all the way. I can't force the syringe or the plunger all the way to the end of the barrel. Um, strange because there's nothing in there but air. And so. That, that seems a little odd. I know that air is not a very dense material. And so we're just making some observations about what's going on as I manipulate these. I can't pull very well on both of these. I'm only one person, and so that would be quite difficult. Um, but you can maybe perhaps make an inference. Let's see here. If you can see the tube, if I can try to push. Or actually, I'm pulling. I'm doing my best to pull both. Yeah. I, oh, I just ruined it. I pulled the, the plunger out of the barrel of the syringe there. Um, but if you would take a moment and look at the document that I've attached called Air Investigation. So as I played with the syringes, what are some observations that you were able to make 
and what perhaps are three questions that someone, maybe not yourself, but someone could generate um, about these observations just playing with air that happens to be inside the syringe.